Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we're going to the assemble Oppo Reno 8T. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool, insert it into the hole and push the tray out. If the tray don't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 10 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. We use a thin plastic film to detach the back cover. We insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and carefully run it along the edge, cutting off the adhesive backing. We need to be really careful around the cameras so that we don't accidentally damage the lenses. And we need to be careful around the side buttons, as the cables may be located there. So we try to open the cover and as we understand the cover is additionally glued in the camera area. We will need to pass the tool additionally in this area. And as I said earlier, we need to be as careful as possible not to accidentally damage the lenses or any other part of the cameras. We try to cut the glue base carefully from the different sides, from different angles. Please note, in this model, unfortunately, the adhesive is located too close to the camera themselves. Then we move on to removing the screws at the top and bottom. For this we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips hash tool. If the screws are not coming out well, we can use a magnetizer. If the screws are stuck, we can additionally use tweezers. So we carefully unscrew the screws, place them on a special surface in a certain order so as not to confuse anything when reassembling. As we can see, the screws get stuck, so we additionally use tweezers. The screws in the bottom part we also unscrew with the same screwdriver and place them on a special surface separately from the previous ones. And of course we also use tweezers to remove the stock screws. Ok, we take out the last of the screws and then we move on to detach the middle cover. We use a thin plastic film inserted into the gap between the middle cover and the display frame in the area of the card tray, unclip a few clips and then use a thicker tool. Carefully go along the edge, detaching the clips, thus detaching the middle cover. We need to be careful with the display edge so that it doesn't get damaged accidentally. Also, as always, we need to be careful on the corners, because the core is held really tightly on the corners. So we can detach the middle core, carefully lift it up, turn it over and put it aside. On the core we have contact pads and antenna transmission lines. After that, we should disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. We disconnect the battery connector and proceed to detaching the elements in the bottom part. And first we need to detach the loudspeaker assembly. Gently hook the edge, as always we need to find the right place, find it, hook, lift and remove the cover with the speaker. After that, we need to disconnect the interboard cable connector, disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector, the coaxial cable connector, the second interboard cable connector, and disconnect the display cable connector. And after that, we can detach the subboard. 
Carefully hook the edge, lift it up and take out the subboard. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone, headset port and other elements on the back side. And in the display frame we are left with a fingerprint sensor and vibration motor. And now traditionally quick test of the microphone hole. The microphone hole is covered by a protective mesh. The microphone hole in the display frame is L-shaped, extending to the subboard. The body of the microphone itself is located on the subboard on the back side. So if we can insert something into the microphone hole, we can't damage the microphone, but water can. And we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. First we disconnect the connector of the interboard cable and connector of the cable to the display. We can also detach the front camera. Carefully hook the connector, lift it up. Please note that we have a head dissipating foil on the camera, which we also need to peel off and save. The front camera can also be glued to the display frame. After that, we disconnect the coaxial cable connector and release the cable itself from the, its securing clips on the motherboard. And we can detach the rear cameras. Carefully disconnect the connectors and try to remove the cameras. Please note that not only the cameras can be glued to the display frame or to the motherboard. We also have connectors glued to the motherboard. So we need to be extra careful and not to accidentally damage the connectors or damage the cables when removing the cameras. Ok, we detach in the large rear camera. The large rear camera, as we can see, is taped to the display frame. Now we can put it aside. And we disconnect the other rear cameras. Those connectors are also taped and the body of the cameras itself is glued to the motherboard. We carefully hook the cameras by the base to avoid accidentally damaging them. And we remove the last camera to the side. And after that, we need to unscrew one screw that fixes the motherboard. For this, we use a Phillips screwdriver, 1.5 mm or Phillips hash tool. We unscrew one screw and put it aside separately from the previous screws. And we can detach the motherboard. Gently pry it up the edge, lift and try to remove. Please note that the motherboard on the back side may be held by thermal paste. And finally, we move on to detaching the battery. We have one white green color tab that needs to be unfolded and a transparent protective cover that needs to be turned aside. So we pull off the transparent cover and carefully pull the green tab upwards, thus removing the battery. Under the battery we have a transparent protective covering that protects the interboard cables. And that is the end of our data assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.